my name's Jeremy Broon. Uh, today I'm working on a couple of projects which involve braiding or sanding. Now I like to use the term abrading rather than sanding, as in the furniture industry, abrading is a, a very efficient shaping method as well as for finishing, whereas sanding implies the less aggressive process uh, in finishing. A friend recently asked me if her bed and breakfast sign uh, could be salvaged. It was made about 25 years ago and I thought that rather than replace it with a new piece of plywood I would attempt to restore it uh, and at the same time put to use some new abrasives that Trend have recently launched. Now some of you will know me for my adventures with the router and I've used Trend cutters in all my videos and books since 1989. So, I thought I would put this rather dinky, cordless, random orbit sander. That's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> I thought I'd put it to use, starting with a 40 grit aluminium oxide paper uh, from this new range. The sander here is part of a shared battery system that I already have. In fact, I think I must have almost every tool in the range. Now I also work through the grades of some different abrasive material discs such as uh, zirconium and also tried out the mesh type abrasives. For the finer grades of abrasive I worked on an epoxy resin coated end slice of timber which was an experiment I did about 20 months ago in trying to prevent the end slice from going nature's way and splitting or shaking. Now the experiment has worked well so far and I thought I would use these new abrasives to cut back the top finish and reapply a coat of gloss lacquer. So this is a completely different application requiring very high quality finish. Now many of you know that epoxy resin can clog the abrasive very easily and also sanding off paint is likely to do the same. So an important aspect of sanding or abrading is that the abrasive maintains its sharp cutting edge and the paper or cloth does not clog. But I have to say I think my tests were fairly gruelling and the stop removal was rapid and the clogging less than I expected. Now I have to admit that I was trained old school in hand techniques and the thought of using an orbital sander with its swirling action uh, was against one's upbringing as you always finish off sanding with the grain and with a sanding block. Well, do you know what? You can still do that. <laughs> um, and especially on items where a really high finish is required. Now it goes without saying that all sanding devices should be linked to an extractor. The onboard dust bag on this sander was amazingly effective. And for those of you who have all sorts of theories about how wood behaves and uh, moisture evaporates, <laughs> well my experiment in sealing the moisture is still working after 20 months. As you know, nature usually gets its way and massive shakes suddenly appear within a few days of a wet offcut being brought indoors. Well, if you enjoy my videos, please add a like, uh, subscribe and hit the notifications bell and share your experience of braiding in the comments below, please. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I forgot to say my uh, book, The Encyclopedia of Woodworking Techniques has a chapter on a braiding. Makes a perfect special gift. Thank you.